In this video, we're going to populate this drop down menu here with the list of different departments. So if we go back to our editor, first of all, let's open our includes and then functions file. The first thing we're going to do here is create a new function called get departments. So get departments. And you can again call this function uh, something else if you feel uh, it's more suitable. Okay, and from this function, we are going to basically return an array of items. The item at index zero will be sales. Then an item at index two will be customer support. Then we're going to have item at index three, which will be events. So now what we can do is go back to our contact form and right at the top, before our set meta title, let's create a new variable called departments and use this get departments function to get this array of the different departments basically. So now this department contains an array. If we scroll down, and I'm just going to collapse this these last two rows and expand the first one where we actually have this select element with, um, which should have this list of uh, department displayed. Okay, so after the first option, which uh, basically informs the visitor that they should select one option, now let's first check if is uh, is not empty. So exclamation mark, and again, I'm going to use space on both sides, is an empty department, then we are going to proceed. So I'm going to wrap it like this. There we go, closing bracket, obviously after. And now what we're going to do is use the for each statement for each department as key equals department. And again, set of curly brackets, closing and opening PHP tag here as well, then closing. So basically we have a first statement is uh, in between the opening and closing brackets. We first do the if statement with the opening curly brackets, then we close it after. Then we have a for each starting statement, ending with the opening uh, braces here and then closing one after and in between what we are going to do is to put our option so we are basically looping through these departments and every single iteration will create an option tag so the first one will have a value with echo key so basically whatever key associated with the given department is and the keys here we've got one two and three so one of this Every, with every iteration, the different one obviously is going to be associated with this key. So we add in this to the value. Now we close in this option tag and let's in between the opening and closing option tags, let's echo department name. So department, and there we go. Because department, this department here will represent actually the label for the department. So, so we've got key equals value as may, you may remember when we're working with for each statement. So we've got key for the value and the name of the department will be displayed as a label. So if we save it and preview it in the browser now, refresh the page, there we go. If we click on the drop down, you can see these options are now displayed here. And if I quickly uh, inspect the element uh, in Google Chrome, if we scroll up a little bit so we can actually see it, you can see this select statement here and we've got all these options. The first one is a select one and then we have value one, value two, value three with obviously corresponding label, uh, everything fetched from the PHP array now.